for algebra, you know, kind of like your basic algebra, it's always the sort of this, you start off with one step equations. And I think the answer to algebra is you're, you're, you're solving for x, obviously, but really you're undoing any problem. So really there's only, I think there's four scenarios when you get on to algebra two and trig and stuff, there's probably a million scenarios. But to start off, you really have, you really have four scenarios. So you could have this, x plus three equals six, then you could have x minus three equals six. You could have three times x equals six, and then you could have x divided by three equals six. And so <coughs> those are the four basic operations, right? You have plus, minus, times, in this case, and divide. And again, the way to solve these is you just undo them. You do the opposite, right? So in this case here, my goal is to get x alone. What is the opposite of plus 3? The opposite of plus is minus. So you'll minus 3 to both sides. And when I say that, or your teacher in school, or anyone says to both sides, they mean both sides of this equals, right? I won't do that for all of them, but that's where the whole sides thing comes up. So now let's just do it. You can draw a line here and here. These cancel, which was the goal, so you get x equals 6 minus 3 is 3. Done. Right, and that's it. So now you kind of get where I'm going. Like, you can tell what I'm going to do with the next ones. What's the opposite of minus 3? The opposite of minus 3 is, of course, plus 3 to both sides of the equals. So you have plus 3 here, you get x equals 9. Done. Okay? A little weirder with the multiplying and dividing. What is the opposite of, this is again, 3 times x. What's the opposite of times? You're going to divide both sides by 3. There you go. x is alone, which again was the goal. <coughs> 6 divided by 3 is x equals 2. This is the one that every kid in the world messes up, and I don't know why. Again, just think about it as the opposite game. What This is currently x divided by 3 equals 6. What's the opposite of division? You're going to actually multiply both sides by a whole 3. I would say by 3 over 1, but that's unnecessary and it's not that cool. So, x divided by 3, blah, blah, blah. Look, the 3's cancel, which again is my goal. x is alone. And now you just have x equals 18. What I don't think you should do, <coughs> my pet peeve is like kids that are really smart, they want to just do it in their head. Like in this case, they say 3x equals 6, and they'll be like, 3 times what is 6? And they'll kind of figure it out. The reason it's a bad call is that in the long run, actually, you're going to get to some that are really hard to do in your head. So I think you should just do the four basic properties and then do the opposite to get x alone. And that's it. And remember, if you're struggling in algebra in your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.